Hey everybody, John Peterson here, and today I've got another quick tip for you. You know, as a landscape photographer, I don't often run into the challenges of distorted lines, perspective warps, that type of stuff, like I would if I was shooting architectural stuff. You know, um, a lot of the landscape itself is curved and it looks natural, but there are times where I run into the challenge of the distortion or the perspective shifts that happen with lenses cause lines to bow in or out depending on how my lens is oriented towards the subject. So today I've got a quick little tip for you in Photoshop how to quickly fix things that are tilted as a result of the angle of your lens. So let's jump in and take a quick little look at this shot. All right, here we go. I just returned from Monument Valley in Canyon de Chez where we had a great workshop. And one of the locations that we visited was the totem pole, which you can see here in this image on your screen. Now the totem pole is just this incredible sandstone pillar that rises up from the desert. And it's absolutely fantastic. Love photographing here. But if you look at the totem pole, notice how it's tilting to the left. It's tilting inwards. And this is caused by the wide angle lens that I was using. And I won't get into the physics of why this happens, but just know that because my lens was pointed somewhat upwards from where I was, I was about six feet down in this gully with the sand dunes in the foreground tilted my lens up and because of the shape of the lens, the, the um, focal length that I was using, it caused this pillar to tilt inwards. Now, you know, if I was really doing this right out in the field, I'd have a tilt shift lens and I'd compensate for that, but I don't use tilt shift lenses. I've tried them and it's just something that I don't use because I run across this so infrequently that I would just rather try to fix it in post. Now, you know, Lightroom gives you some tools to adjust the, uh, the axis, you know, top, up and down, left and right, and it works okay, but not really enough to fix this problem. So what I'm gonna do is show you a Photoshop trick to nudge and warp the pillar to the point where it will straighten itself back up again. So what we want to do is we want to go up and find transform and warp and you can find that up in the edit menu. Notice though that it Photoshop will not let me transform or warp the background layer itself. So the first step that I have to do is to create a duplicate layer. So once I copy the background, I can then go up to Edit, Transform, and what I want is Warp. And now you see these grid lines that have been superimposed on the screen. And it, it, it couldn't be any simpler than this. All you have to do is put the mouse over some of these dots and just start pushing and pulling. So if I grab this upper left one, you can see how I can get this to straighten up. Maybe I want this just a little bit. And the sisters out here are also tilted inwards just a little bit. So I want to bring these and straighten these up just a smidge. It's as simple as that. And then all you have to do is click the check mark to say OK and we're done. So I went from that to that. Crooked to straight. And optically when you're looking at this layer, looking at this image, you won't know the difference that this has been warped or stretched. Yes, there are limits to what you can do and still being realistic, but in a case like this, it just took a little bit of warp to move the pillar into the vertical position. 
All right, folks, so there you go. There's a quick, easy tip to use Photoshop to straighten some lines or straighten edges or straighten buildings, straighten totem poles, whatever you may want by using the warp function in Photoshop. And remember, that's edit, transform, and warp. And then you just pull on the little handles to you tell, until you get to the point that you think it's right for you. So it's real simple, real easy, and it shouldn't take a lot of effort on your part to create a more visually pleasing image. So I hope you enjoyed this little tip. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like if you haven't already done that. Have a great day and keep on shooting. All right. Bye-bye.